La Cuquette, La Cuquette. Hello everyone and welcome again to La Cuquette, to a very special show because I have here a friend that's visiting me from New Orleans. Hello. This is Rocio from Risa Rizos. Yes, I have a channel that's mainly about curly hair. Or hair in general. <laughs> and she's here to help me make a really wonderful curly looking dish. Yes, and I'm really excited to be here and I'm more excited because this is actually good for your hair. Mm. Not just to put on your hair, but also to eat it to get really healthy hair. We're making vegetarian spaghetti and meatballs. With meatless meatballs. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Meatless meatballs. <laughs> This dish was inspired by this lovely Mexican Honduran woman and the amazing tips she has on her channel. Yes, I've got loads of tips, not just for curly hair, but just for hair in general. And after watching this video, definitely come check out my channel because I've got an amazing recipe that I did right here with Maria that is dessert and it's paired to go with this dish. And it has chocolate. Chocolate's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you'll like it. <laughs> Remember, all the links and the ingredients are in the description box. So now let's curl up our sleeves and start. <laughs> <laughs> we'll first prepare the meatless meatballs. Yes, I know, they shouldn't be called meatballs, but hey, play along. Yes, and not only that, but they're really, really nutritious because it involves oats. And oats carry potassium, biotin, zinc, magnesium, all really great ingredients for preparing hair breakage. You need to blend them well in a blender or a food processor. Let's also add in sun-dried tomatoes for a flavorful punch. When it reaches a flour consistency, stop and set it aside. And now let's puree the rest of the ingredients. Have coconut oil, red onion, mushrooms, which we caramelized earlier, some spices, a pinch of cumin, paprika, garlic powder, mmm, such a flavor mix. <laughs> and finally, let's add some mighty black beans. Oh, and I forget the egg. Yep, the egg is a great source for protein and it also helps blend the rest of the ingredients. Once you have a pureed paste, Transfer everything to a bowl and gradually add in the oatmeal flour and mix it until it's no longer sticky. So while we mix this, enlighten us, Curl Guru. What goodies do we have here? The most important ingredients in this mix are beans and eggs, which are really high in protein, which is perfect for hair growth. Hmm. So I can get my hair just as long as you, just like Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> and now on to forming the non-meatballs meatballs. Come on, Maria, let's race. You're going to make medium-sized compact balls and place them on a side dish. I won! After you have them, cook them on a skillet for a couple of minutes. Now on to our pesto. I love making pesto with different aromas, so today ours will be a concoction of super ingredients. We'll be using olive oil, almonds, lemon, spinach, kale, basil, and garlic. While we add and blend this gradually, tell us, Rocio, what are we getting with this powerful blend? Oh, you're getting the works. Kale and spinach are packed with iron, so if you have a shedding problem, this will fix that. And almonds are high in magnesium and vitamin E, the best nutrients for fighting hair loss. But wait, there's more. We want our pesto to be smooth and our pasta to be creamy, so we're also adding cottage cheese. And cottage cheese is perfect for strengthening the roots and fortifying the hair. Ooh. All of this blends better if you're jumping up and down. The reason why we're putting it in this bottle is because it has a perfect nozzle to put it in your hair. I'm just kidding. Finally, we're down to the curls. Since we're being good and sticking to healthier options, we'll be switching regular pasta for zucchini noodles yes. or zoodles. This is a wonderful trend and a yummy one too. Yeah, you either peel the zucchini with a regular peeler and cut each slice into thin strands or if you have a julienne peeler like this one, it does the cutting job for you. Look at these tasty locks. Let's cook these zucchini strands over a pan with a bit of olive oil. Ooh, these look so good to eat. So finally, you're just going to create your main approved meal by serving first the zucchini pasta. Let's twirl this a little bit. Add as well a few meatless meatballs and some sauteed tomatoes for color. Finally, Rocio, you can get creative and drizzle some pesto on top. Don't mind if I do? Hope you like this recipe along with all the hair tips and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more yummy recipes each week. And also to check out Rocio's channel, Risas Risos, for our yummy main approved dessert. Chocolate avocado pudding, yes! And let us know in a comment below if you have any other hair tips to go with this. 
Thanks for watching and see you on the next La Coquette. Adiós. Adiós.